Welcome to Public Policy Analyzed, brought to you by Dr. Ewu. Like, subscribe, and share. The American presidency is a high-stakes game of economic policy. Each president inherits a unique set of challenges and opportunities. They then wield their power to shape the economic landscape for better or worse. This video delves into the economic legacies of three recent presidents, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, and Joe Biden. I will analyze their approaches, their successes, and their shortcomings. Our goal is to determine which administration's policies prove most beneficial for the American people. This is no easy feat. Economic analysis is complex. It requires a nuanced understanding of policy impacts. It demands careful consideration of both short-term gains and long-term consequences. To determine which president's economic policies reign supreme, we need a scorecard. We need specific criteria to measure their performance. This video will focus on four key indicators. Long-term stability, income equality, economic growth, and economic resilience. Long-term stability refers to the predictability and sustainability of economic growth. Did the administration's policies create an environment conducive to steady, long-term growth? Or did they prioritize short-term gains at the expense of future stability? Income equality examines the distribution of economic gains. Did the administration's policies benefit all Americans? Or did they exacerbate income inequality? Economic growth is a fundamental measure of economic health. Did the administration's policies lead to robust and sustainable economic growth? Finally, economic resilience gauges the economy's ability to withstand shocks and recover from crises. Did the administration's policies strengthen the economy's ability to weather future storms? By evaluating each administration's performance, Based on these four criteria, we can render a balanced and informed judgment on which President's policies proved most beneficial for the American people. Barack Obama assumed the presidency amidst the most severe economic crisis since the Great Depression. The 2008 financial meltdown had crippled the global economy, leaving millions unemployed, businesses shuttered, and a palpable sense of fear hanging in the air. It was a baptism by fire, a trial by economic turmoil. Obama's immediate challenge was to staunch the bleeding, to stop the economic freefall, and prevent a complete collapse his administration responded with a massive stimulus package, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, aimed at jumpstarting the economy through a combination of tax cuts, infrastructure spending, and aid to struggling industries. The ARA was controversial, the critics decrying its hefty price tag and questioning its effectiveness. Yet, it's widely credited with preventing a deeper recession and laying the foundation for economic recovery. By 2010, the economy had stabilized and the long, arduous climb back to prosperity had begun. However, Obama's economic legacy is not defined solely by the ARA. His administration also enacted the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act a sweeping piece of legislation designed to prevent future financial crises by strengthening financial regulations and increasing oversight of Wall Street. Dodd-Frank was hailed by consumer advocates and many economists as a necessary step towards a safer, more stable financial system. 
It aimed to curb the risky lending practices and speculative excesses that had precipitated the 2008 crisis. Donald Trump campaigned to make America great again by unleashing American business and renegotiating trade deals. His signature achievement was the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, slashing corporate tax rates. The tax cuts fueled job growth and investment. They led to a surge in corporate profits and stock buybacks. Critics argue the cuts benefited the wealthy, exacerbating income inequality. Trump's economic agenda included a confrontational approach to trade. He imposed tariffs, sparking trade wars and raising prices. The COVID-19 pandemic plunged the global economy into a deep recession. The CARES Act provided financial assistance but increased the federal deficit. Joe Biden took office facing daunting economic challenges. Pause twists. The pandemic raged on, but vaccines offered hope. The economy was recovering, yet millions were unemployed and inflation was rising. Biden's American Rescue Plan provided immediate relief and boosted recovery. The Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act aimed to create jobs and improve infrastructure. Rising inflation posed a significant challenge. The administration balanced fiscal and monetary policies to combat inflation. Pause three years, Barack Obama and Donald Trump entered the political arena with vastly different communication styles, reflecting their contrasting personalities and approaches to leadership. Obama captivated audiences with his soaring rhetoric, his message of hope and unity. Trump thrived on hyperbole, bravado, and a direct, often confrontational style of communication. He painted a dire picture of America's economic decline, blaming it on bad trade deals and unfair competition. Joe Biden, a seasoned politician with a reputation for empathy and pragmatism, faced a unique communication challenge upon assuming the presidency. He inherited a deeply divided nation still grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic and its economic fallout. Biden sought to strike a balance between acknowledging the pain and uncertainty many Americans were experiencing while offering a message of hope and optimism for the future. His administration adopted the slogan, Build Back Better, a phrase that encapsulated their vision of not merely returning to the pre-pandemic status quo, but creating a more equitable, sustainable and resilient economy. This narrative emphasized the need for massive investments in infrastructure, clean energy, education and healthcare, framing these not just as economic necessities, but as moral imperatives. Biden's rhetoric was characterized by a return to a more traditional, presidential style of communication. He eschewed the bombast and Twitter tirades of his predecessor, opting instead for a more measured, deliberative tone. He frequently invoked the language of unity and bipartisanship, seeking to bridge the partisan divide that had come to define American politics. However, Biden's efforts to build consensus faced significant obstacles. The political climate remained highly polarized. The administration's ambitious agenda, particularly its reliance on large-scale government spending, drew criticism from both the left and the right. And pause on cheese. The economic policies of Obama, Trump and Biden were inextricably linked to their rhetorical strategies. Governing is not just about enacting policies. It's also about shaping perceptions and building support. The language they used and the stories they told played a crucial role in shaping public opinion. 
and investor confidence. Obama's rhetoric of hope and unity restored confidence after the financial crisis. His message of shared sacrifice created a sense of national purpose. Trump's media mastery and emotional connection with voters were key to his success. His economic narrative resonated with those disillusioned by globalization. Biden's Build Back, better narrative, aimed to balance challenges with a hopeful vision. His focus on unity and working families was designed to appeal broadly. All people, three S. Navigating Washington DC requires a deft hand and a willingness to compromise. Barack Obama, inheriting an economy in freefall, understood these realities. His approach was pragmatic, seeking common ground and strategic alliances. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act garnered bipartisan support. The Affordable Care Act highlighted the challenges of enacting major policy changes. The Dodd-Frank Act aimed to prevent future financial crises. Targeted policies promoted job growth, clean energy and education. Donald Trump's arrival in Washington DC shattered norms ushering in an era of unpredictability and a transactional approach to policy. Trump, a political outsider, viewed himself as a master negotiator, thriving on chaos and brinkmanship. His economic agenda favored unilateral action, leveraging economic strength to extract concessions. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 was a partisan achievement benefiting corporations and the wealthy. However, it contributed to a ballooning federal deficit and did little to address income inequality. Trump's tariffs disrupted global supply chains and raised consumer prices. The economic fallout was significant, particularly for American farmers and manufacturers. He withdrew from the trans Pacific Partnership and the Paris Agreement, signaling a shift towards isolationism. Biden's balancing act, coalition building in a polarized era. Biden assumed the presidency facing a divided nation, a global pandemic, and an economy reeling from COVID-19. A seasoned politician Biden understood the importance of building consensus. His approach to economic policy making has been characterized by bipartisanship and addressing long-term challenges. Biden's early legislative victories demonstrated his ability to navigate Congress. The American Rescue Plan passed without a single Republican vote, highlighting the partisan divide. The Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act showed that compromise was still possible. Biden's efforts to address climate change and income inequality have faced challenges. The Build Back Better Act stalled in the Senate due to opposition from moderate Democrats. The bill's failure underscored the difficulty of enacting major policy changes in a divided Congress. Despite setbacks, Biden has made progress on several fronts. His administration has rejoined the Paris Agreement and taken steps to address racial and economic inequality. They have worked to strengthen alliances with democratic partners, restoring America's global leadership. Biden's success will depend on maintaining democratic unity and navigating a divided government. Every economic policy decision comes with trade-offs. Governments must weigh competing priorities, choosing between short-term gains and long-term stability. The Obama administration faced these trade-offs, focusing on restoring stability, even at the cost of short-term growth. The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act aimed to prevent a deeper recession but increase the federal deficit. 
The Dodd-Frank Act, while stabilizing the financial system, was criticized for stifling growth. Obama's auto industry bailout saved jobs, but was politically controversial. Donald Trump's economic policies promised immediate results through tax cuts and deregulation. In contrast, Obama emphasized long-term stability. Trump's approach delivered short-term growth, but raised concerns about long-term sustainability. The 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act exemplified his preference for short-term gains. Critics argued it exacerbated income inequality and increased national debt. Trump's trade wars disrupted global supply chains and raised prices. Deregulation efforts raised concerns about environmental and financial stability. Joe Biden assumed the presidency facing a perfect storm of economic challenges, a lingering pandemic, soaring inflation, a deeply divided Congress, and the looming threat of climate change. His economic agenda reflected the need to address both immediate crises and long-standing structural problems. The American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 provided much needed relief to struggling families and businesses, but it also contributed to rising inflation, a problem that would plague the Biden administration. The Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act represented a rare moment of unity in a deeply divided Washington. However, it also added to the national debt, a concern for fiscal conservatives. Biden's Build Back Better Act faced a rockier path, highlighting the challenges of enacting major policy changes. The bill's failure to pass represented a significant setback for Biden's domestic agenda. Each administration navigated distinct economic landscapes, leaving behind a mixed bag of successes and challenges. Obama prioritized stability and regulation, fostering a slow but steady recovery. Trump slashed taxes and waged trade wars, boosting corporate profits, but exacerbating inequality. Biden walked a tightrope between immediate relief and long-term investments. Looking ahead, potential presidencies of Kamala Harris or Donald Trump present starkly different economic futures. The future remains unwritten, contingent upon the choices of the next administration. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more public policy analysis with Dr. Iwu.